Thanks for watching our late news. The State House bill aims to protect our firefighters. It would establish a pilot program to test firefighters' exposure to PFAS chemicals, also known as forever chemicals. These chemicals could pose a serious threat to firefighters. Terry Craig caught up with local union members to learn more about PFAS and is here with those details. Terry. Firefighters are exposed to hazardous materials while fighting fires. Some of those dangerous chemicals are even in their own gear. In some circumstances, it's life or death. I mean, we go into burning buildings or exposed to hazardous materials. It takes bravery to selflessly run into a burning building to keep one's community safe. However, it comes at a cost. Dangerous chemicals in the air and in firefighting gear can cause negative health impacts. Legislation at the State House would allow firefighters to be tested for dangerous PFOS chemicals. Local 758 President Bob Malone says he supports anything that improves safety. I'm all for it if they can come up with something that gives us the gives gives my union members the the same safety that they have now, if not better. I'm we're 100 percent for it. PFOS is manufactured in a firefighter turnout gear, meaning exposure to these chemicals are impossible to avoid. This is where they're saying PFOS is located and that over time it could, it could come through into the thermal layer. Limiting exposure is the best mitigation technique. Union Vice President Charles Kinzel says firefighters keep two sets of gear to help with exposure. The administration's done a good job of outfitting us with two sets of gear. So if we do soil set through our firefighting, through our hazmat exposure, we're able to go and wash that and replace it with a clean set. Kinzel says there's no set of gear out there that does not contain PFAS. He says the next step is for manufacturers to make 100% PFAS free gear. Whether that happens or not, it's at least a good step that the people profiting and manufacturing these items are making a conscious effort to get them out of our protective gear. The bill passed the Indiana House of Representatives and it now awaits action from the Senate. All right, thanks a lot, Terry.